YouTube channel. Cooper, I've seen you do some ruthless things in your day, but in front of the V1, you're gonna do this? In front of all three. <laughs> and the Supra and the Tahoe Cooper, the first time you've ever washed your car? <laughs> Look at the rusty before. brakes on the V. She sounds sad. You got your alternator? I got it. Don't worry, baby. We'll be coming for you soon. For just one Bartle skeet a day, you can help the Dirty V not be so slow. Shout out to our boys at Adam's Polishes. All right, I'll leave you to get her cleaned up before we start filming. The viewers there are like, I know he's never gonna watch it again. <laughs> All right, so Cooper, you've gone ahead and purchased your, your dream car here, pretty much. Yep, the, the Dream V. The Dream sure. V, because guys, if you don't know, this is one of the rarest Cadillacs ever made. This is a CTS-V2, but it's a wagon. And I know it's, for some people, you know, they, they might not like these, but if you're a real like V enthusiast, this is a hard car to get, and they're very rare, and they're very, very sought after. So you kind of have to pay for them, and, You've been saving up for a while for something like this and yeah. finally pulled the trigger. Yep, I mean, it's already got a lot of mods done to it too, so yeah, you don't you, really have to touch it. Yeah, you bought nice. the right car. I don't know if they can see this paint. I know, I know, that's the sickest thing. Yeah, I, don't, so. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Yep, you can see it. What's it called? Black Diamond Tricoat. Black Diamond Tricoat. And I've ridden in it to work, but we pretty much haven't really ripped it or anything. James, you've hardly ridden in it, so we're gonna take her out for a, a whip. You gonna give us a full tour, Coop? Yeah, I mean, well, we did rip it a little bit, I don't know. Yeah, we ripped it a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna be before. Oh, yeah, yeah, it Coop, was... <laughs> <laughs> Literally within 24 hours, we were down at the track running Ruby, and Cooper brought the V-Wagon, which we have coined the Spaghetti Wagon, and he did a pretty nice rip at the track with it. Still on a temp tag. Yeah, <laughs> drove it while it was hot. I mean, it was literally within 24 hours of him buying it. And All right, Cooper on his first day of ownership. Hasn't even been 24 hours. Down here at the drag strip, let's see what he can do. Well, that was good. That was perfect. Nice. Dude, that was exactly how he needed to do it. That was really good. 11.8 at 121 mile an hour. Went 11, so yep. one day probably go 10s. Well, Maybe. give us the give us the mods breakdown here. All right, we can pop the hood, I guess. From the top, what's she got? Well, cosmetically, it's lowered. Uh, it has some random carbon fiber stuff. Yeah, saw the lip. Um, it's got the custom inlays and the billet badges. Yep, yep, billet badges are saw really those. Nice. Billet V badge. Yep. Um, under the hood, it has catch can already, has upgraded lid. Um, That's a ZL1 lid. Yep, it's got the AN stuff. It's got a pulley. Smaller pulley. Smaller pulley. Yep. So Bigger it's got throttle body. Upgraded throttle body. It's got an aftermarket cold air intake, so it's like yep. pretty full bolt on. But it's, it's got like a tune and trans tune already. It's got a tune and a trans tune already, too? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What did it make? Like 620 or something they advertised? Yeah, it's supposed to make like six. 30 on E. Yeah, it's got a flex fuel tune up in it too, so mm -hmm. we could put ethanol in it if we want. Yep. It's corn got bigger fed. injectors. Corn fed. Bigger injectors. Dude, this thing is set up so good yeah. for what you wanted. I'm so yeah. pumped for you, man. And it's not too low. Like, it's not too low. It's, it's perfect. Drivable. Perfect for our daily. Let's take her out for a rip. Even rocking our boost on board sticker available at Cletus Well, it is my mom mobile, so I figured it's Yeah. Fit. Primarily drop Holly off at her soccer games. Yeah. Okay. I mean, at least three times a day. <laughs> Go to Starbucks like six. Yeah, yeah, understandable. All right, let's take her out for a rip. Let me get the startup video. <laughs> oh, she's so nice. So nice. Yeah. Sound, yeah get the job done. Perfect, dude. James, you have to get in Holly's basket. <laughs> we got Holly this little basket thing for her to sit in. I'm not it's a like a crib. Thing. It has the up, it has the Recaro seats. Oh yeah. Oh, it's, actually, it's actually pretty comfy back here. Coop, you're really spoiling us for our working back. And vehicle. then it's got the air fuel, fuel gauge. gauge already. Yeah. You sure you don't need me to tune this? Uh, a that's a tune? hard pass. What? He doesn't want to make a tune? horsepower. At least, Cooper. <laughs> Come on. Are you guaranteeing horsepower? Yeah, absolutely. Guaranteed. 
Dude, she's so nice. What year is it? 2012? 2012, yeah. And it has 50,000 miles, yep. or 49. It's just about to roll over 50. 49,000 miles. Yep. She's a virgin. She's See a virgin, the, yeah. See if we got the nice shifter, uh, whatever you call these. Paddle things. shifters. The, the upgraded shifter. Fill with levers. Like a Cadillac. And it is auto. Oh yeah. The million dollar question. I know, everyone's gonna be like, he should've got stick, but this is for his daily guys. So automatic was the move. He's got a stick shift race car V1. So he went auto because it is a daily, going to be daily driven. So what's that mean for the Tahoe, Cooper? Um, I don't really know what the fate of the Tahoe is. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get rid of that thing if I do. I mean, yeah, I know, you got it for such a good deal, so we might as well keep it. Yeah. Um, are you gonna burn them? Oh! <laughs> Just burned them! Oh, you can smell it. I oh, know, you burned the tires. It's just so easy to do that in this car. But it does hook up when you try because it's got so much freaking weight transfer. Yeah, it's on like a Michelin all season, so it's nothing like crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. on a snow tire for these weathers down here in Florida right now. It is pretty brisk. We're talking a cold 62 degrees today i i did buy this car sight unseen from chicago so yeah i know was, yeah lucky came in and it was pretty nice so we were kind of stoked yeah <laughs> scary buying a car like that yeah yeah i remember last time we did that ended up with a c6 with a freaking truck motor <laughs> that was a little questionable of a decision. dude it's a shame this thing didn't show up and have a 5.3 in it uh, did you look at the head castings, James? We, it's not <laughs> proven. Know, we might want to check. <laughs> it's an LS. <laughs> Would you also be willing to share with us information on your V1 and Supra today? I know you got some parts with the V and the Supra here. So yeah. can we get an update after the V ride? I have awesome parts with the Supra. It's I a it's a Cooper update video. Very. It's a coupe date. Very boring parts for the for the V1. Yeah. <laughs> for now. Yeah. Listen how nice the blower is when you're just accelerating. It's that nice little... Very subtle blower sound. Very subtle blower sound. But yet it lets you know it's there. James, are you going to put nitrous on this thing or what? Oh uh, yeah, if he leaves the keys one day. And then I'll tune it. Yeah. And it'll be perfect. Wow. Cooper will never do what happened. Yeah, it'll be fine. I, how did I get friends like you? <laughs> you're so <laughs> like lucky. You too. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna give her a little ripski? A little roller ripski? Yeah, this is a... This is the V move right here. You downshift. And then when you floor it, you hit it up and in. Oh! Dang! Woo! <laughs> She's a rip! Damn, I wish I had my seal of approval on me. <laughs> <laughs> Stamp it right on there. Damn! So I've commonly seen V people do that. So basically what you're doing is you have it in normal. Yep. Not the non, like, for example, guys, if you put this over into manual but don't shift it, it's in sport mode right now and it'll shift itself. So what you do, if you leave it in drive, you downshift to the gear you want and then floor it, you know, in the mm -hmm. correct gear so it doesn't have to downshift once you floor it. And then you pop it over into sport and it's in sport mode and it shifts itself at the right points versus you maybe hitting it too early or too late. Yeah. Couldn't end this out without a burnout. Hey sir, thanks for the spaghetti delivery. Yeah. But seeing you later. Yeah! Spaghetti wagon! Oh! Oh, he did! <laughs> spaghetti wagon! How you doing? I want one. <laughs> he goes, I want one. <laughs> spaghetti wagon for the win! Dang, brother! <laughs> nice job. That one kind of got away from me. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> I like this automatic side of Cooper. Freaking, what'd you go up to fourth gear? Third. It, no, it was, third? it was third when it was rolling. Nicely done. It, Woo! it automatically grabbed second, even though I had it in 
Yeah, dude, first. you left a massive cloud. Yeah, it was sick. That was pretty rowdy. That was sick. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's the spaghetti wagon for you. Many videos to come, but it is our daily, so we probably won't do too much crazy stuff with it. We can't mod it too much. We got to get the working back without it blowing up. Take one more look at that paint. Let's get some rubber in there. Oh yeah, look at all this. Oh, yeah. All right, give us an update on the V1. Let's see what you got. I saw you got a box yesterday. Yes, we did get a box. Oh, okay. So This looks like a serious alternator. Preface this with, V1s are notorious for bad alternators and bad charging ability. Yeah, yeah. Bad cars. Being bad on all in general. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> so I really stepped it up. Yep. Got a Smackman alternator that'll put out a lot more juice. Oh yeah. Because I gotta power fuel pumps, I gotta yep. power my water pumps. Where'd you get that idea? I saw it on Leroy. Yes, sir, yes, I saw, sir. I saw it work, so I was like Gonna, gonna make it happen. You got yeah. the truck alternator though. Yeah. For extra amperage. This thing puts out a lot of amps. It's 320 amp <laughs> Oh my God. My Coop. speakers. <laughs> if you didn't know, we're building a stereo competition V1. I think so. Holy crap. There you go. All well, right. you know I've had battery issues you forever. Have. You have, totally have. So we just gotta put this in and that thing's done. A couple wiring things that gotta be finished up. Yeah, that's up James up. Alley and then we're done. Back to the track. So we will see the V at Streetcar Takeover. Now update us on the Supra. I just have to race both of them. What the oh <laughs> the wagon and the V1? That'd be sick. Roll race the wagon. <laughs> We're gonna need multiple people to get them down there. All right, give us an update on the Supra. Should I grab the parts? Yeah. So when are we doing the 240 video? Soon. We can do it soon. Soon. We should do it while we're racing it though. Oh yeah. Because that that'll that. give people a full tour. Yeah, we can do that SCT. Yeah. She's gonna it's be a ripper. A ripper. The axles are still not that. Issue is addressed but not fixed yet. <laughs> Still waiting on IBS to build some So stuff, yeah, so. if you guys all know, James is gonna do a straight axle on the 240 yeah, eventually. And, they, yeah. and Import Drag Solutions is developing yeah, they're that the deal. Ones, they're building a subframe that bolts into the car that holds an 8.8, pretty much turns the back of the car to a Mustang. Yeah. And so, it's, it's the fix to all of axle brake. And for now, you're not gonna invest more money into No, I just anything. have my so six stock Run the axles, cheap axles yeah. and keep warranting them. Yep. Keep warranting them and then do the straight axle swap. And and James has a Nova that we'll have to show him too. Oh, yeah. that, so that thing's, it's really sick. Yeah. And he did a huge wheelie, screwed it up yeah, a while ago. Up the front ends and now to get like but she's coming back. Pro mod ish style front end. She's on coming it's, back. It's coming back soon. And we'll, we'll go out and race it. Yeah. All right, what you got? So these are the cams for your future engine. Yep. And would you care to tell people what your future engine is going to be? It is a 2JZ GTE, like a Ooh. full takeout <laughs> engine and trans from a. You got the JDM engine. Yep. So Cooper got a 2J. It's at induction performance. They're doing a couple things to it. Nothing yeah. crazy. It's, it's going to be. Touch it up. Make yep. sure it's all good. Cleaned up, touched up. And then this is your turbo that you got from Sick 2J from yep. his old setup. And the cams from Sick 2J. And the cams. So Cooper has the beginning of a 2JZ build here. He's got the turbo. He's got the cams. Obviously, a ton of other stuff is going to come along, like computers, transmissions, but all sorts of stuff. Right here is basically the setup capable for like a thousand. Oof. Holy like God. This. Got serious. But your your kind of your goals are gonna be around like eight fifty nine. Yeah, it's gonna be a stock bottom end. Okay. Stock like head gasket isn't the head's not even gonna come off. Yeah. So you so. wanna keep the power down a little bit for as long as you can. Yeah. Until we get carried away and turn it up. Until I have to. When Cooper, when Cooper goes to the bathroom, we turn the boost up on him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I saw four pounds on the boost <laughs> Yeah, so this is a Precision Gen 2. Yep, what is it? 60, 66. 66, cool. Hell yeah, dude. She's going to be a ripper. Yeah. I got a really awesome exhaust manifold, too, so I can't wait to, oh, yeah. can't wait to show how that Oh, yeah, dude. Together. The exhaust manifold you got is fancier than the whole freaking it build. <laughs> it's going to be yeah. sick. Cam, those cams, too, are real. That's what pushes yeah. them. We won't even open them. You guys will see them eventually, but there are two mm -hmm. boost sticks in here, yeah. and it'll rip. Two thumb sticks. Thumb sticks. <laughs> and this turbo is, like, brand new. Yeah, look at her. Ooh. It's super nice. Beautiful. Though. And, guys... If you'll notice, the Crown Vic is in here and it's actually in pretty good shape. So that'll be in an update video coming later this week. But Cooper, thank you for the updates today. I think everyone's been wondering and we're super excited about the spaghetti wagon. I think yes. it's sick. I want to get my bumper back on so bad. On the V? It's so sad looking at it without the I bumper. Know. The V1 looks so sad. It's got <laughs> rusty brakes, low tires, no bumper, Tar but. It won't even turn over. Yeah, yeah. But now that we got, yeah, now that we have the alternator, we can bring her back. Yep. So we're going to get the V1 ready to race. 
Got to finish up the tune on it. Hopefully, uh, we don't blow it up. It's going to need that hot tune. We're going to Oh, yeah. I got you on the hot tune. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to do it for Cooper's update video. Update on his new car, his current cars. But that is it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will freaking see you later.